All right, let me get the music turned off. And whoops, about to start another song. Sorry, song. Uh, and let's get the game turned on. Uh, there we go. Where's my desktop? <laughs> There's the game. Cool. All right. Excellent. We are here. I actually didn't know if I was going to be here tonight, to be perfectly honest. Uh, for those that watch, I'm sure I mentioned it on a couple different videos. I know I mentioned it on the F1 manager video, but uh, I had some teeth pulled yesterday and uh, went to the dentist. I had a chipped tooth uh, that I chipped back in July and it was fine for a while. I was like, I, maybe I can make it to January because I was going to turn my, because I didn't have dental insurance. I was like, I never used it. So I was like, I just turned it off. You know, I just kind of, you know, whatever. So my work, you know, I was going to re re-enroll for it uh, starting in January. In January, So I was like, maybe I can make it to January. Unfortunately, I was not able to. Pain started happening a few weeks ago, and it was just like, oh, I'm worried if this is going to start getting infected and have be worse. So I finally went to the dentist yesterday, and they was like, hey, we can go ahead and pull these, this tooth out now. I'm like, okay. And they're like, do you want us to get the wisdom tooth right next to it while we're at it? Because it's the one right in front of the wisdom tooth. I was like, I guess. <laughs> and so uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but thankfully, I mean, I'm not in pain. Um, the only thing that hurts is my jaw because I had to keep my jaw open for so long while they're digging around in there. But the, the otherwise, the pain is fine. Uh, I'm a little annoyed that I have to eat soft food. So I've been eating lots of pudding and applesauce and other things. I've been trying to eat healthy lately. And all of a sudden, I'm like, now i got to eat soft food. So that really limits what I can eat. So there we go. I'm here. I'm glad to be here. Hopefully, you guys are glad to be here as well. And really looking forward to getting back into this game, because uh, obviously I like this game quite a bit, and I know you guys do as well. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, how do I say that? Like face most crazy. Or lost face most crazy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, we, I think we left off. We were starting to bail our field with our awesome tractor here. Well, I say awesome. It's, it's, it's a pretty small tractor, but it's been getting the job done. But also, if I remember correctly, we left off with... Uh, a couple contracts, at least one contract, sorry, specifically, that is going would be amazing to pick up. And so I think we have to pick up this contract. It's just too good. Um, we might even pick up 19 here, just because 19, we can use that, that we can use the equipment from uh, the other contract for 19. Where is 19? 19 is right there. 19 is actually pretty small, but, you know, 6,000 bucks is 6,000 bucks for, for something that small. So... I think we got to take that. It was twenty-five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. So we're gonna borrow the items here, or are we? Yeah, we are, because it's just too. That that mower is just too too amazing, and we need the bigger equipment and all that stuff to to properly get that field done in a timely manner. So we're gonna borrow those. I'm not gonna do the tedding one because eh, it's just not worth as much in the grand scheme of things. And I will probably just accept this one, and we'll get both of those done today while we're working our own field. Uh, again. If you missed the first uh, episode, um, I am uh, allowing myself two workers because I, in real life, have two sons. So I'm kind of role playing that they're here helping me. So we will be able to use our two workers to help us get stuff set up on this field and kind of get rolling here. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and get you driven down to that lower field. Which actually, I think it's just this one down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's this giant one. So you're probably gonna come down this way, come down this way. So let's get you down to right about there. And uh, let's get you hooked up with the wind rower. And while you guys are driving over there, I can continue bailing our field. Get us a little bit of money that way as well. Let's get those rolling. Uh, let's get to our tractor and let's get you going as well. We need to get our tractor back to the store to get it repaired up here in a bit, but we got a little bit of time. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, teeth getting teeth food pulled is it's not fun. But again, I, I'm surprised that it didn't hurt as any more than I thought it was going to. Honestly, I mean, getting it done did not hurt at all. It was just very unsettling literally feeling like they're trying to rip my jaw out of my face, you know, because obviously they're yanking on it and grinding on it and you feel all the crunchiness, even though I didn't feel the pain itself. And then now after the fact, I'm just like, I'm shocked that I'm not like just in ma massive amounts of pain. I mean, I've had surgeries done on like my nose and things like that. And those usually 
hurt for a little while um, after you're done with them. So I'm a little surprised that tooth stuff, for whatever reason, I mean, I've been taking ibuprofen and Tylenol, but I'm not taking anything harder than that, right? No, no actual serious narcotics or anything like that. So it's a little, just a little unexpected. All right, let's get you set up before my other guy crashes into me. All right, let's get you rolling here, my friend. I say my friend, my son. <laughs> and, uh, go. And let's get you off to the road. So you're ready to help out as well. Actually, what I can do is, while we're letting that guy get a little bit of a head start, let's unhook here, send you back to the store to pick up the bailer, and we'll go from there. All right, you're good. Let's keep this going. Getting our bailing done. This will be good money here too. I think it'll be a few thousand bucks. Get us where we need to be. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I've been looking forward to this, getting back to this all week. This is the one thing about live streaming is that I have to wait till the live stream to actually do it. When I'm, when I'm recording videos, I can do those whenever I feel like it. And if I feel like sitting down for 10 hours on a Saturday and doing nothing but farming, I can. <laughs> Five bales so far. We should be, get, be able to get, I don't know, probably 10 or 12, something like that. That's my guess. Uh, let's get you hooked up with the baler. Move that over. Sorry, white car. <laughs> hey, that's the that's the wind roll we just picked up. For, they just took over there, the one on that sign. You know what? I never returned my leased equipment, and I think somebody brought that up in one of the comments. I think we've only fast-forwarded one month, so it only costs us a little bit. Still, it's, it's annoying that I, I, I cost us anything at all. Uh, so let me get that return here in just a moment. Uh, let's get you down here. Actually, I can probably pull you off into the grass. Uh, leased equipment. Yeah, just these two. I mean, they're not super expensive to, to lease, so it's not like it costs us that much. It's still just bad, you know? <laughs> no, no reason to cost us money when we don't need to. Oh, I could have been wind rowing this whole time. I'm a dummy. Uh, you know what? I will... Let me get you to the other end and we'll wind row with this guy. Because then we just, we don't need the wind row at all other than just fixing my mistake here. No big deal. We'll get most of the field wind rowed properly and it'll all be okay. I mean, technically the wind rower that we have, we brought over is bigger than what this will wind row. But I still think it would be le more has than if we just bail what we've got here so let's uh it's what is it control y i believe yep oh uh, no wait a minute there we go swap dropping let's go or let's not go you gonna go there you go that was weird yeah there we go that's gonna be better um We'll do a couple passes with the wind rower on the ones that I forgot about, and it'll all be okay. No, well, thanks, Lane. Uh, glad you could join, and yeah, this is a fun game to play, for sure. Which, it's, again, I've, I've said it a few times. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. Why, why is this game so fun? It's, you know, anybody who doesn't get it. And I have talked to people who are like, what do you, what do you mean you're enjoying playing a farming game? Uh, anybody that doesn't get it just sees it as like a boring whatever game, right? But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I definitely enjoy it.
That field's gonna take us the entire stream. I mean, we'll be doing our farm on the side, but that field is gonna take forever to get done. Maybe not. We might be able to finish about an hour, an hour and a half, I think. Actually, it depends on how big of bales we can make with that baler uh, while wrapping them at the same time. I think it's only going to be 150s, because uh, that obviously slows down how much you can get done in a, in a pass. Uh, can we use that trailer to pick up our own bales? I know you can use, sometimes you can use trailers, like a grain trailer you can use for your own fields because it doesn't, it just doesn't care. It doesn't, it, it's whatever it, it, you know, it, it's uh contract, you know, agnostic, if that's the right word. Uh, I mean, other equipment you can't use on your own fields, but like grain trailers, you typically can. I just don't know if you can use the bale trailer that would help us transport these much quicker. It's possible we can. I don't know. We'll see. If not, it's not the end of the world. We'll get us our own trailer at some point. Watching the World Series. Ah, there you go. I have not watched like baseball in forever. I guess we can go ahead and get um, our wind road to do those two passes here in just a second. Let me go ahead and let you start wrapping for a second and then we'll go grab you. We'll drop this. I mean, this thing is super wide. Maybe it would still be better just to let it go to town make massive piles but i don't know i don't think it really matters one way or the other how big the pile ultimately is because the baler's gonna have to stop the same you know basic rate no matter what to some degree and sometimes it's actually worse to have bigger piles if the baler's small because then you're having to stop wait for your silage wrapper to finish doing what it's doing and then you can keep going things like that so We'll let him do a couple passes here and it'll all work out. All right, you're good, you're good. Let's go with this. We're already at 12 bales, that's pretty good. A little more than I expected. And we can actually see how much this is gonna be worth to us because I do have an add-on turned on that counts up our stockpiles and tells us how much it would be, how, how, what the value of them is. Now, our bales will have to wait until we get them fermented completely, whereas the contract bales, we can turn them in whenever. So I think it takes a month or two. I can't, somebody, somebody said it last week. I forget what it was. It's not too bad, though. And besides, we're probably going to wait for our... We may wait for our silage bales until it's a good time to sell them anyway. Will we get two more bales out of this? I don't think so. But the good thing is that this is our baler, so if there's some leftover in the baler, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it looks like we'll get one more. That's good. 15 bales, not bad at all. For considering we haven't done any fertilizer, lime, nothing like that. That's actually pretty reasonable. All right, you are still... And we'll let you do one more pass after that. Why not? All 
Alright, good enough. Let's drop that. Park you over here. I think this is where our living room would have been had the house been here. Uh, let's drive over to the store so we can get you repaired up and stuff. I mean, we might as well fuel up while we're going past. Hundred forty bucks. Oof. Diamondbacks have quite a few rookies. It's fun to see them playing in this game as rookies. Yeah, that's awesome, actually. Yeah, I mean, seeing rookies make it to the championship games of any sports is always pretty cool. We'll probably repair this up. Take that trailer over to our field just to see if it works. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul. All right, repair. 2,700 bucks. Oof. It's a lot, but we're going to get a lot from this contract, so I feel safe doing that. Although I do still want a roller, I think, to get our grass to start growing again real quick. What is uh what's our stockpile look like right now so we've got apparently we've got some seed hiding somewhere but i still say grass is it literally still grass or is it just i mean it should technically be silage right now shouldn't it? i mean i know it's not completely fermented but i thought it would at least be representative of silage at this point we'll zip over there and see what it looks like Maybe it's still at 0% or something. Uh, am I on PC? I am on a PC. I have a... Currently using a CyberPower PC. Um, I bought it a few months ago, actually. I, te technically, I have two. I bought two at the same time. I bought my streaming PC and my desktop PC at the exact same time. Uh, they both have 7950X AMD chips in them. And... 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, this one's got a NVIDIA 4080, I guess. Um, and this one's got, the streaming computer has a, I actually just put an in, uh, Intel chip uh, video card in there because for streaming, it, it wasn't really gonna matter that much. So I went a little bit cheaper on that one, but still kept the processor like maxed out um, because I'm, I sometimes I do video, video rendering on that and I need the processor more than the video card for that. So yeah, it's actually got one of those Intel chips, uh, Intel cards. Uh, Whatever the top of line Intel graphics card is, which is actually, I thought it's actually pretty cool. It's actually worked quite nicely for what I need it for. So yeah, this is about as top of the line as you can get. I think the only thing better than what I have right now would be a 4090, I guess. Um, and uh, I just didn't need that much. Obviously, 48 was going to be plenty. And actually, I don't even know if the 4090s were officially out yet at the time that I bought this. All right, so it will pick these up. Good. That is awesome. But at the very least, we'll get these picked up off the field. Probably stacked up onto the side. My previous computer was an uh, Origin PC, which uh, it was fully liquid cooled. Like literally everything. The graphics card, the processor, it was just as liquid cooled as you can get. Custom loop, everything. It was a very, very expensive computer. I literally bought this computer, the gaming computer and the streaming computer this time around for the same price that I spent on my Origin PC last time. And I think, the, I mean, these are obviously already better because, you know, newer equipment, but I'm very happy with them so far.
Oh, you know what? Our guy's still doing his wind rowing, isn't he? Uh, do this route path because you've got a little bit left over there. And then we'll probably stop you when you get to the other end. I mean, I guess it's no harm to have him wind row <laughs> anyway, but I, I don't think we need to. We'll let him stop after he's done with that. Yeah, PCs are can be very expensive, but thankfully, most games, I mean, unless you're playing really high end top of the line stuff, you don't need I, you don't need what I have. The biggest reason I have what I have is because it makes my video rendering for when I do the, you know, render the recordings with this processor so fast. <laughs> it is lightning fast. Like I can I could render a 30 minute video in like 15 20 10 15 minutes something like that. It's like it's super fast crazy um which helps a lot and then uh obviously the grab and i i suggest, i just like nice cool techy stuff i always buy the fancy tech equipment because that's just how i enjoy you know spending money i guess All right, uh, what is the best time to sell? Si oh, I forgot to go check my guy. Uh, he's good. All right, let's get you stopped. Fold this up, park it off to the side over here. We'll come back to you in just a minute. We'll start bailing here in just a moment. I wanted to check uh, the silage real quick. Uh, it is, the best price is where? Or when, I should say. January, February would be the best times. So we're not that far off, honestly. And what are we at, actually, percentage-wise? So it literally is at 0%. So it actually is currently grass. Okay, fair enough. That would make sense. I guess the, the uh, contract just fast-forwards that to actual silage, which makes sense, too. Um, where do I want to park this? Probably just kind of here in the middle so I can pick it up later. Technically, I could use these bales for the contract as well and then just keep whatever's left over there, but... I don't think it really matters one way or the other. We'll use our own bills for our stuff. All right, good enough. We'll pick that up later. And we can go ahead and have this guy transported over to our contract field. Actually, he can just come right down here. Not very far. And we'll have you, we'll slip you across, pick up the baler. Mowing is almost done. Good to see. Pretty sure this only, uh, I think all of the balers only go 150 at the max. So I'm pretty sure this will just be a 150 here, which is fine. All right, so I mean, it can go 180s, but the 180s would be for um, grass and hay and straw and stuff. So this is it. What is this actually? 185 VC Pro. I think we've used this one before on the Valley Spring. 185 VC Pro is that one. And yeah, 150s for silage. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. So we are set on 150s. We are set on 150s. Turn on uh, automatic drop. Let's go. This will fill up super fast. Get you off the road here. I mean, while I'm doing this, I could have him doing some rolling on our field. Do we want to do that? Um, love that we have a forge wagon here, which is always tempting. 
I like forge wagons, especially if we were to go with like the uh, fancy balers. I think I, I still haven't figured out how those work. We're going to try them out at some point during this save, I think. Uh, rollers. Was it? Not that roller. Sorry. Grassland carry roller. All right. We don't have quite enough money for this right this second. Um, so we'll circle back around to that. I mean, we could grab this cheap one, I suppose, but I don't know that we need to. I think grabbing this one should be fine. This one would also do planting, though, which is convenient. Honestly, I mean, it's already got the planter attached to it, and it's just... It's big enough for what we've got. I mean, our fields are not that big. This would actually work for us. I mean, this is one meter wider, but it doesn't have the planter attached to it. You know what? Maybe we do run this. Um, it's just we don't need much for those tiny little fields right now. Eventually, we could upgrade to something else, but this will be fine for us. Let's go ahead and grab it. You know what? Why not? I think decision's made. All right, so in that case, while we're doing other things, you're going to drive back to the store... And we'll pick up that new thing. We'll pick up some seed as well, just so we have it on our field or on our farm. And go from there. Cool. Uh, yeah, hiring works for bailing would be, you know, nice, I guess. But uh, I would say, um, can't the uh, course play? Is that what it's called? Course play, where you can you could let, set out lines. And, and automation as well. I think those, I think that's able to do bailing if you set up like exactly where the bailing lines will be. Now you have to be pretty precise because obviously you got to make sure that you're always putting the bailing lines in the same place every time if that's going to work. I could be wrong that it even works at all, but I think it does. I don't mind doing the bailing. I just wish I didn't have to stop, you know? <laughs> I wish I could just keep on going, but uh, I just can't do that right now. You are... Are you actually done? No, you're not done. You just think you're done. Come on, son. Don't be lazy. Get it right. I mean, you've only got like two passes left, to be fair. But You are almost to the store. Oh, you have it for PS5? Yeah, okay. I mean, the fact that I play this with controller, I could play this easily on an Xbox or PS5. Just, but, uh, I already have it on the PC, so might as well keep doing that. Plus, obviously, I do like the add-ons and the mods and stuff, so <laughs> I probably will continue to get it on PS, uh, PC going forward as well. This is such a giant field. <laughs> Yeah, look, I don't mind doing the bailing myself. This is this is fine. It's actually kind of therapeutic in a weird way. But what I wish is I could have another guy doing it from the other side, right? So we can kind of just meet in the middle, make it a little bit quicker. But uh, that's all right. We'll get it done. I mean, this is going to be the slowest part of this big field is getting all these bales done. Picking them up with the uh, trailer here in a bit won't be that bad. All right, let's get back over to you. Grab our roller. Might as well put some seed in it while we're here. Let's get you driven back over to our farm. Hey, right, good stuff. Yeah, PS5 has some mods, but yeah, it, it makes sense that it's not going to be quite as quite as much as you see on the PC. Although I still maintain that if it's in the Giants like in-game mod hub which is where I get basically all my mods. 
uh, it sh that should mean it should also be on PS and PS5 and Xbox. But for some reason, some of those are still aren't on those console or on those uh, devices. We're gonna get so many bales off this field. <laughs> I feel like the, I've, the last time I did this, I want to say we got over a hundred bales, but I could be misremembering. It's been a long time since I've wrapped this this particular field. Go ahead and get our roller guy doing his thing. You are officially done now, right? No, you're still not. You just those angles sometimes mess with them as far as them knowing whether or not they're done. All right, let's grab you. Um, let's come over and get you started rolling. Let me just double check something real quick. So we are at currently uh, harvested growth. So as soon as we roll this, I'm pretty sure it does change it to um, growing all uh, automatic, like right away. No, it still says harvested. Oh, there it is. Yeah, growing growth stage one to three. So yeah, doing the rolling shaves you shaves off a uh, a month basically, uh, and it may not matter at the end of the day because obviously we're gonna have to grow a couple months and then we. We're going to hit this, the winter and then we're going to have to probably mow this in February, March, whatever it is when it comes back around. So it's possible this doesn't really give you an increased yield, but it's easy enough to go ahead and do. So we'll go ahead and continue doing it. I think you might get an extra yield every once in a while, basically, is what it comes down to. Er, per year is what I mean. You might get an extra cycle in every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, workers are... <laughs> I mean, the workers are pretty good. They're, they're pretty good for what they do. But they do get confused sometimes on some of these... Some of these fields. That's okay. I get confused on some of these fields, too. So, I can't blame them. Just barely picking the stuff up faster than we can drop it off. So many rows. <laughs> this field is ginormous. <laughs> At least we don't have to come back through and wrap all these individually. It's nice having the wrapper on the back of the baler.
By the way, if I haven't mentioned it, I think I've mentioned it a few times, but I don't know if I mentioned it today. I am streaming on both YouTube and Twitch, so if you prefer to watch on one platform versus another, I mean, feel free. Technically, I make more money if you're watching it on YouTube, but it's not that big of a deal. I still need the views and the viewers and followers and all that stuff on Twitch to be able to get to the point where I can monetize that as well. So whichever you prefer is okay by me. Oh, also, I should mention this. Uh, starting Saturday, when I stream Civilization, and then going on through next week as well, obviously going forward. So this this stream next week will also be the same. I will be streaming an hour earlier. I'll be streaming at seven o'clock until ten o'clock Mountain Time, just because same, same number of hours, three hours. But I figure it will potentially allow more people to watch for longer, uh, because obviously. 7 to 11 or sorry 8 to 11 which is what it is tonight uh i mean that's midnight central time you know it's one o'clock in the morning if you're eastern east coast let alone if you're overseas anywhere so i figured if i push it up a little bit earlier maybe people can stay around a little bit longer which would be nice plus it means i get to go to bed a little bit earlier <laughs> so that's important too Oh, I appreciate that, Dion. <laughs> Double watching. Help with the algorithms. Yep. Got it. Got it. The, the algorithms, algorithms are their own video game. Unfortunately, I don't have the strategy guide for it quite yet. <laughs> hmm. We'll say the month of October that we just ended, obviously was one of my biggest months ever, which is pretty awesome. Still trying to decide if I'm going to stream my, uh, my guild's uh, World of Warcraft rating progression or not on saturday mornings i mean i'm going to be doing the like playing anyway and it's just a matter of clicking a button really uh the biggest reason i might not is depending on whether or not i set up the i'd have to figure out how to pull out com, uh, comms because obviously if you guys know i try to keep my streams and youtube stuff as family friendly as possible because you know i do have kids that i want to be able to watch my stuff you know as as they feel interested and uh as you can imagine a bunch of adults uh playing a, uh, a video game like World of Warcraft, the language just gets a little bit colorful <laughs> at times. So I'm like, yeah, I'll have to make sure I streak, eliminate the cobs because don't, don't, don't need my kids listening to that. Or any kids. If anybody else watches my stuff, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Like I said, World of, World of Warcraft is my private guilty pleasure that I just... I think I've shown it once on YouTube, just like, I don't know, I can't remember exactly when or what I was doing, but I think I've shown it once, but, and I think I've also posted a video of, of one of our kills on there once before as well, but overall it's just, it's just kind of that game that I play where I don't have to think about it and kind of just focus on having fun, but it might be fun to, to stream, you never know, we'll see. I mean, it's not like our guild is like amazingly good, obviously, we're not like world first or like you know whatever we're, we're we're pretty but we still finish you know we still get all the mythic stuff done before the the uh the next patch which is which is always our goal it just goes into that whole theme that i play all sorts of different games oh thanks 19 crypto 95 I'm assuming that might be Dion, <laughs> maybe. 
<laughs> if that's not if that's somebody new, then I appreciate you as well. <laughs> I just know Dion just said he would jump on there. But yeah, uh, I like I, just, I like all sorts of games. I just like video gaming just in general. I mean, I think I've mentioned before I, I did go to college for video game design, and someday I will probably try to make my own little 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 tiny video game. Then, if it ever sold even one copy, I would be happy because that would be awesome. If one person actually <laughs> liked my video game, but. You know, I have to have to get there someday. I actually know people that work for EA Sports, um, which would have been a fun, fun job, probably. Maybe I also the my my office where my headquarters for my company is, is actually in the Bioware building. Um, uh, in Austin, so that's where, wherever the where the old Bioware building was. So where, um, you know, all the Bioware games that were, that were made out of there, uh, I literally <laughs> sit in that office now, or not now, because I don't I don't live in Austin anymore. But it was pretty cool. Cool. There's lots of gaming in Austin actually, and uh, definitely one of the things that I not necessarily missed because I wasn't in a, you know I wasn't didn't have one of those jobs, but would have been nice to pursue one of those while I lived there. But I like where I live now. I, I thoroughly enjoy the cooler climate and the mountains and the nature of Colorado. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dion. <laughs> I thought that was you. Just making sure. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I just got to come up with a good game idea. Uh, I've got lots of ideas I've floated around. It, it'd probably be something simple, like a, like a 2D type of thing. But I mean, just go look at some of the 2D games that, out there. I mean, Factorio is a pretty popular game that started relatively small. Now, I think that had more than one person working on it, but uh, another game that I think only has one person or maybe maybe, maybe two, I think it might be Brothers or something like that, would be something like uh, Dwarf Fortress. It's a very popular game. I mean, you might be selling it for only like a couple bucks a pop, but you sell a, you know, a few thousand of those. I mean, it's not, it's not nothing. Um, so there's lots of games like that that are very, very, you know, you don't have to be making like the next big, you know, amazing game to be something that people enjoy. So I think it would be fun to find find something I I enjoy and figure out a way to make a kind of a, just a, a fun little little game for it. I guess I could send the mower over to that field 19. I mean, we got plenty of time, so it's not like I got to rush and send it over there. We're going to be here a while, but I might as well send it over now. Did you finish finally? You basically finished. Let me just uh, lower, turn on. Let's just get this little patch here. All right. Good enough. We'll get you over to fail 19. Get that taken care of real quick. That will take like two swipes with this particular mower and we'll go from there you're still rolling looking good i mean we don't have to be in a hurry about it just take your time my friend <laughs> get it done we're already at 40 bells okay this is going to be this might be 120 bells then i don't know it's hard to tell sometimes obviously i know it's going to get smaller as we get further along but a lot of bales on this field. Just to confirm, are these like instantly 100% silage or are they just like partial silage? Oh, no, they're still... Oh, no, that does say silage. Okay, wait a minute. Did I just look at these wrong? I see the... Maybe I looked at the wrong spot. Are these... Silage or grass over here? Now I am con con thinking that I might have misread what I saw. No, I still... Okay, so this, this does still say grass. 3,500 liters of grass, fermenting 0%. Whereas this says... Uh, 
5,500 liters of silage. It is not fermenting. So yeah, the, the contract ones just get instant silage, which is, you know, it's, it's nice, I guess. It makes sense, obviously. You've got to be able to sell it. I just couldn't remember. I thought that at some point there was like a percentage, like it still counted for the contract, but it wasn't fully 100% silage, but no, it's definitely 100%. It's interesting because um, by doing these streams, I'm streaming for, you know, three hours per week on Farming Simulator. When I do my recordings, I only post about an hour and a half per week of Farming Simulator. So technically, you, there's more content here. It's like twice the content, but at the same time, about the same because I skip a lot in the farming, you know, in the recordings. I skip some of the, the boring in between -y bits a lot of times. So it's basically kind of nets out to about the same amount of content. Or same progress, maybe, is the better way to put it. So I think we're going to get this done in about 45 minutes and meet my expected uh, time of about an hour and a half for this. Maybe. I don't think we'll do a lot of, of contracts. I'd really like... I mean, don't get me wrong. Contracts are fine. But... I like to get to the point where, as quickly as possible where I'm just doing my own field. I think that's just more, uh, feels more enjoyable overall. I mean, I guess it's the same thing in real life, right? I'd rather be working for myself than somebody else, you know? <laughs> I mean, I think that's really what it comes down to. I mean, we're getting there. We might be what? We actually might be halfway once you figure in the, the taper here of, of the field. So maybe my original estimate of 100 was, was accurate. Man, as soon as my teeth heal up or my gums or whatever i guess it's technically my gums my teeth are gone well not all of them but the two are gone I'm, I'm gonna go get me a big old giant steak or something i it's soft food i've only been on it for 24 hours and it's already like ugh. i'm good i'm done i'm ready to i'm ready to eat something hearty i've been working out and stuff so i i bought i wanted to get some snacks that have protein in them so I bought, uh, bought some packets of uh, beef jerky and some pistachios. Because, you know, both of those are, you know, pretty low calorie. Got, got some good protein, stuff like that in them. And I enjoy both of those. So it's, that's, that's, that's an important thing about snacks for me is that I have to enjoy it. Um, and I bought, I got those literally the day before I went in for the dentist. So, and then I get back to the dentist. I'm like, oh, I can't eat those now. <laughs> They're just sitting there. And I'm like, sad. <laughs> They'll be there next week, though. I haven't been working out this week anyway because I hurt my shoulder. I think I heard it sleeping, which is embarrassing. That just tells you how old I am right there. I didn't hurt it working out. I heard it sleeping. <laughs> uh, so embarrassing. It's possible I actually heard it working out. It just inflamed while I was sleeping. <laughs> That's perfectly fair. But it, I didn't notice it until I woke up in the morning. So I'm like, you ought to be kidding me.
Hopefully everybody had a good Halloween. Especially if you have kids. Kids uh kids love Halloween, don't they? Got all that candy. It's actually a dentist near like where I live who advertised that they're buying candy back. Like it's an, a candy buyback program. It's just like, okay, I'm sure lots of dentists do that. I'm sure it's a popular, it's a common thing, but it's just, I've never, I've never heard of it before. It's just kind of like, okay, candy buyback program. I mean, isn't candy good for dentists? Cause doesn't that mean like re <laughs> recurring business? I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> you, uh, you eat candy. Uh, you have to go see the dentist more. Oh, I guess we have you over here now. Um, I guess we'll go over, or like along this angle here. I think I've mentioned this in my Bally Spring save before, but this is probably my favorite piece of equipment in the entire game. This mower right here. It is incredible. All right, just go to town. Oh, you're not going to get it straight. You're kind of going at a weird angle. We'll come back and get this other part later. That's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, okay, you can move over to this other field. Go to town. Candy buyback. Yeah, I know. It's, you know, got, you got to watch out for those dangerous kids with their candy. I mean, I've heard of gun buybacks and I get, I mean, I guess some of the logic behind them a little bit, but uh, candy buyback. Like, I don't know. Pacing on this uh, uh, baler is a little bit better without the uh, extra wide wind rowing. With just the mower wind rowing, it's, it almost paces out perfectly. That is a lot of bales. <laughs> I just see them out there. It's so many. What we're going to find out is that 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 dentist does his little candy buyback and that's his stockpile to give out candy next year for Halloween. <laughs> that's all it is. Uh... I think I'm going to have to get the rest of my wisdom teeth removed come January once my insurance kicks back in. Which is not going to be fun.
thankfully he did say while he was looking in there that the rest of my teeth at the moment seem all okay so other than the chipped one which i think the chipped one the only reason that happened was because the wisdom teeth next to it was pushing into it basically weakened it which means that you know anything hard that i crunched on that side was just gonna eventually chip it away so it technically was a wisdom teeth issue but i mean i've made it 40 years of my life without having had my wisdom teeth removed they they're mostly okay but i mean the top ones are actually i think are okay it's just the bottom ones are uh a little bit awkward crowded all that stuff but i mean if they're gonna remove the bottom ones they might as well remove the top ones and move on with my life Technically, we should be able to get that entire other field and probably some of this one will all be ours to sell because uh, there's going to be plenty of bales coming off this field for both contracts. Did they both go to the same place? I don't think they did, but we'll check real quick. Uh, no, nope, they do. Perfect. That's actually very easy. I mean, we still need a trailer, but do we need anything else besides a trailer for our field? I don't think so right now. I mean, eventually, obviously, once we move off grass, we're not going to be doing grass forever. <laughs> it's definitely not going to happen. It will get boring. It may already be boring, but we'll deal with it for now to get a little bit of money, and then we'll move over to whatever uh, good crop that we want to do. I think if we can get enough money for... I, I basically... I think we could follow the same uh, path of what we buy uh, as we did in the original Elm Creek run. It's just if we do it without debt, then uh, we actually, you know, we'll be making money instead of basically breaking even all the time. So I think that's going to be the big thing is avoiding the debt. But I don't think the path itself was wrong. Like as in by the by the uh, flour mill first, right? So you can start selling the flour right away with crops and then you can upgrade to the the bakery, you know, after that to make a little bit more money and things of that nature. Just kind of layer on extra things as you go, which layering on things as you go makes sense since we're ultimately going to be making a cake. <laughs> Yeah, getting your wisdom to be pulled in high school. Did, were you, uh, I'm assuming you had to go under and came out of that loopy, like all the videos you see all the time of people being, being stupid and saying stupid things, you know? And I'm assuming that's what I'm going to have to have done as well. Probably have to have like, the full go under. I'm still, like I said, fascinated by the fact that he was able to do these just with the local. I mean, that was, I didn't even have, I didn't even have to have the, uh, uh, laughing gas or anything like that, nitrous. I just, just a local and that's it. So it's still fascinating that he was able to do that, but I'm assuming once you do all of them, that's a lot of local. <laughs> Your whole face is numb at that point. That's probably not the way to go. I mean, I've been under with other surgeries and said stupid, silly things before, so I'm sure it's about the same. All right, you are done, sir. Other than that one little path over there that we kind of messed up on. You're done as well. Good job. Oh, so our grass is ready to go. We just got to get this contract done and we're able to keep on moving forward. I'm going to bump this thing up against the wall here. 
eventually we'll sell this building and figure out how to get some good buildings that we're going to use ourselves. All right, that is done. Um, don't know that this tractor is powerful enough to pull the trailer. We can see, because then we can start transporting stuff while we're finishing up the bailing. I'll try. We'll try to see if it's powerful enough. Let me get you headed over that way. Uh, wrong button. Um, so the trailer's over here, I think. Yeah, we're down here. Just so we can kind of speed up the process a little bit. Uh, yeah, three teeth or three pulled last year with local was kind of unnerving to hear. Yeah, oh yeah, the the teeth breaking is so so unnerving. Oh, it's. Yeah, <laughs> I literally was just like, find my happy place, find my happy place. <laughs> like, again, it didn't hurt. It's just unnerving. So I'm just like closing my eyes and just be like, I'm not here. I'm in somewhere else. Where am I at? Like, I don't know. I was like, just get through it. <clears throat> Plus, I was always I was afraid the entire time that at some point something would happen. It would just start hurting like like excruciating pain it never did thankfully but i was like always afraid that oh this is gonna be the pull that hits the wrong nerve i don't know it makes no sense they know what they're doing my uh, the tooth that was cracked he was able to just break that in half and pull each root out you know individually not that big of a deal it, it wasn't that bad the tooth the wisdom tooth however i guess because of how it grew in actually grew in with basically barbs on the end so each of the roots was curled under which he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get the one back there out. Um, but he was able to kind of twist it out. And then he had, the, the roots, the, those little barbs broke off. So then he had to go digging around, you know, and get those barbs out, which I get not painful, but having to keep my jaw open that long was just not comfortable at all. All right, you're good. We don't need you anymore for anything. Uh, you are here. Let's go ahead and get these gathered up so we can get these shipped over to the biogas and see if see what that does for us. Hopefully this thing can pull them. If not, it's no big deal. Actually, I can't remember if that mower can pull this trailer or not. I don't think it can. Oh yeah, it was it was definitely terrifying. It was. It was uh, it's all right. It's done now. Well, I say it's done. I'm still healing, obviously, so not completely done yet. But Almost done, actually. Not not too bad. I know I've said this on my uh, Valley Springs run, but I really do want hot cocoa now. <laughs> I don't know why. 
<laughs> so, something about this makes me want hot chocolate. Oh, really? Normally it pushes it with me. That was weird that it went right under it. I don't know if I've seen that before. I mean, once it gets moving, this tractor's fine, but it is a little bit slow getting going. Let's get you over to the biogas, my friend. Save ourselves a few trips down the road. Smart enough to get there? Come on. Yes, you are. Good job. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Steven. Uh, glad you joined as well. I, I like Elm Creek a lot, actually. I mean, I'm okay with mixing in with a few other um, maps from time to time, but I think I'm pretty... I, I don't know. It's a pretty solid map. I'm pretty happy with this one so far. I they did a good job. What are you doing? Are you really... I did not realize it was smart enough to weave through the bales. Or did that, that was that just pure luck that it happened to weave at that point in time? But it looked like it was navigating through the bales. I did not think it was smart enough to do that <laughs> oh wow all right you guys would laugh at my setup right now i have one two three i have five monitors in front of me right now i mean my main computer has three i have one that i play on one above that that I, you know, just put like sometimes if I'm watching Netflix or whatever, I have that on there. And then I have a, one over here that's all like work and things like, like things that I need to like kind of have off to the side that I kind of keep up with, you know, notes and things of that nature. Um, and then my streaming computer has two two monitors attached to it. So I have it's like a full command center right now. It's hilarious. Hmm. I think what's even more funny is that I actually play on a 34 inch ultra wide monitor, but because most people don't have ultra wide, like, you know, that aspect ratio, I record all my YouTube videos with black board. Like I, I, I see black borders on the side of my monitor. I'm only seeing the 2560 by 1440 in the middle. I'm not getting the full 3440. Um, now, obviously when I play like World of Warcraft, stuff like that, I, I, I stretch it out all the way. But yeah, for, for every other game, I'm, I'm playing on a small portion of my monitor. Smaller portion, I should say. I love this monitor too. I paid a stupid amount of money for this monitor, but I... It's one of those, it's one of those purchases where if I think about how much money I spent, I'm like, you're an idiot. Why did you spend that much money? But if I don't think about how much money I spent, I'm like, I love this thing and I'm glad I have it. And so maybe that means that the money was worth it. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's the same thing with my chair. My chair is crazy expensive, but I have not had a back problem since I bought this chair, which is amazing. So this one's definitely worth the money. I mean, I, I guess the way I figure it is if I'm going to spend a couple thousand bucks on a PC, then I might as well get a monitor that makes that PC look as good as it possibly can, because otherwise, what's the point? Paying a few thousand bucks for a PC and then putting it on a $50 monitor <laughs> probably is not really serving the purpose that you're hoping to serve. But again, I, as I said before, I like, I like techie stuff. I just buy crazy expensive techie stuff because I enjoy it. Oh, 
I bet our guy's at the, uh, he is. Get this first set dropped off. Glad you made it, my friend. I don't know why I keep calling you my friend. That's my son. I don't know which one it is. It's the one that wears a brown jacket. Oh, that's me. Never mind. Sorry, that's my, I forgot. I'm driving right now. That's me wearing the brown jacket. Um, I think the drop off is here at the top. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, there we go. Dumping off all the marshmallows. 40% almost. So another trailer and a half, basically. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Over here, my friend. All right, back to the bailing, which we are almost done with. Well, on this field, we got to go to the other field as well. Oh, come on. Drive better than that. Oh, you're really stuck. There we go. <laughs> you got really stuck. Sixteen minutes to get this done and we're almost to the point where we're only transporting. It's not bad. Well, sixteen minutes to get my hour and a half estimation. Alpha, alpha. Uh, well, this is silage, but don't know. <laughs> uh, I use a modded capacity baler, and it turns out you are able to completely fill the biogas plant. I had a couple bales sitting on top of it, slowly trickling money into. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, I, that does not surprise me actually. Oh well, then yeah. See, especially this is a, a farming simulator game. No, so we get to farm all sorts of stuff. Right now we're just doing a uh, silage. We're bailing up silage, you know, after we cut the grass. But at some point we'll be doing normal crops like wheat and barley and sorghum and all that kind of stuff. Maybe even have cows at some point. Have any of you guys that are watching you uh, used one of these other ones before the uh, the new ones they just added in recently? These uh, these right here. Like I don't I don't know. <laughs> I 
they they seem to be stationary, and I'm I'm just curious about them. I want to I got to try them out at some point. And they have a capacity twenty thousand liters, which you know that's it's something. I don't know. I just don't know how these work. We'll have to try them out. I guess I could go look up a YouTube video of somebody who has tried them out. Oh, are we going to get a full bill here? I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to go to the other field anyway. Uh, modding on this is pretty good, actually. There's a lot of people that have some pretty crazy mods, to be perfectly honest. Um... Like, honestly, just about anything you could think of, you can mod into this particular game. It's it's pretty pretty insane. There's all sorts of different vehicles. I mean, some people mod just random vehicles and all they're they're not even playing the farming game. They're literally just driving vehicles around, like fighting fires and things like that. Like I've seen some crazy YouTube stuff of things that people have done with this game, which is pretty insane. All right, that's all good. That's all good. Let's grab some more bales. I mean, I think it's crazy that this game has a esports, you know, competition, and I've seen it. I mean, if you guys have never watched the esports for this game, it is—it's hard to explain. It's so weird. Like, it's all—I don't know. I don't know if I fully understand all the rules, but people are driving around with like, um, you know, trying to bail up, you know, straw or whatever it is, and they're throwing bales around, and they're balancing them up just right so they can get them transported properly. Like, it's crazy watching people run uh, the competitions with this game. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree, Steven. I, I will definitely try them out. <laughs> Promise we'll get to those either in this game or the Bally Springs one. One of them is for sure going to try those out because I just I'm I'm curious if, if like, for example, if we can use the um, the uh, forge wagons for it. Well, I, see, honestly, I don't know if the forge wagons are faster than bailing or not. It's hard to tell. Like if I could just fill it up with the forge wagon and then it just automatically bails and spits out the bales. I think that would be faster. <laughs> I feel like it would have to be. Like I said, I'm tempted to look up a YouTube video to see what somebody else has done with them, but I also kind of want to just figure it out myself and be a little bit surprised. We'll, we'll see. Oh, come on. You can do this. Come on, little tractor. You've been so good. You've been so good. Come on. <laughs> I know it's hard. There you go. Come on. You can do it. The little tractor that could. I'm just going to grab these couple bells here, I think. Uh, yes, you can add silage additive to them. That's the other reason why I want to get them. 
Uh, that is one of the options for sure. Come over here. Uh, wait, I missed one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wait, I thought you could. One of these you can. Am I blind? Have I just made that up? I could have sworn this had silage additive on there. What? Is there a reason why my... Am I blind? It's staring me right in the face. No. Is there a reason why my Bally Springs run would have silage additive as an option and this one doesn't? Because I, I definitely saw them on my Bally Springs run. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm confused, but that's okay. It's also interesting that this can take uh, some of the other like chaff and things like that. So it's going to be kind of weird to play around with. I could have sworn that had the silage additive. Oh, well. I mean, if it... it oh, you know what? Maybe... You know what? I bet it is. Uh, let me check something real quick. I bet it's in the options. That might have been where I saw it. Because I just remembered the forge wagons don't show it right away. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It is there. Okay, I'm not completely crazy. So, yes, you can add silage additives to these. Uh, that one for sure. Can we do it with this one as well? Yes, we can. What about these other ones? Actually, all of these. Really? Okay, so not this one down here. But this one can also have silage additive. Oh, I don't think a lot of these do. Yeah. Most of these other ones don't. So these three, so this one that's mobile and these two stationary all have silage additive. That's pretty good. Because silage additive is not very expensive. Um, and it does obviously increase your yield by what, 5%? Uh, does it say that here? That uh, would be a pallet, wouldn't it? It doesn't say here. I think it's 5% or 10%, something like that. It's, it's, but it's, it's not nothing. Let's put it that way. And it's so cheap that it's, if, it's, if you can do it, you might as well, because it's, it's not going to take up that much stuff. Get you transported over to the biogas and our other tractors already up ready to start bailing that other field Now, my question is, if it does just spit out the bales automatically, where does it put them? Because obviously, eventually, they're just going to stack up, right? Like, I can't imagine... I mean, is it just going to keep shoving them over? I mean, I would imagine eventually it would get too many, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely... Very curious about it. Let's like as you could tell. We're going to get about one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about seven bales, six or seven bales off this one. Not a lot, but it's something. So we didn't hit 100 off that first field. We almost did. I mean, we hit, what, 92, 93? Came pretty close. But obviously this field will get us to 100 total. Good job.
think one more load will get both contracts done, actually. Which will mean we'll have two loads for ourselves. I'm sorry, I did my math wrong. We'll have one load for ourselves. 100 bells divided by 24 is, is four loads, not five. Well, four loads in a tiny bit extra, but basically four loads. I'll just bring you over here. Only thing is, I actually think if we sold the uh, silage by itself, yeah, if we sold the silage by itself, it's worth more than if we finish the contract. <laughs> we can get fifty thousand bucks off that silage. <laughs> the contract's only going to give us twenty-five. And I think I don't think the base game has a penalty for canceling a contract. I could be wrong. I know I know that the mod I use for Bally Springs definitely has a penalty, and I even maxed out the penalty. I think to make sure that we avoided canceling contracts as much as possible. There might be a small penalty here, but it's not as big. Oh, don't, don't prevent me from picking this up. We're so close to 100. All right, there we go. Good. <laughs> I was worried. I mean, that is about as exactly close to 100 as we are going to get. That's impressive. And we'll pick up a little extra here, but not much. All right. I got stuff there. Let's get you are basically back. I went the wrong way. Uh, we're not quite there yet. <laughs> I, I pulled off one one turn too too soon. This trailer might be one of my favorite pieces of equipment as well. I just the fact that it's all automated like this is fun. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my uh, uh, you. We're gonna have you come over here just to take over the trailer load. The other guy's doing the job, but this guy would be a little bit faster.
Yep, I have heard of Satisfactory. Um, have I tried it? I don't think I've actually tried it, but I have heard of it. And uh, it uh, it looks good. Uh, I Obviously, I like Victorio a lot, as, as I think I've mentioned before. Um, so I know it's in the same kind of idea. Just different, right? So it's a first-person Victoria, basically. Might have to try it out at some point. I mean, I still want to try out the Dyson Sphere program. I want to try out... Uh, there's another new one I saw recently. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, there's, there's a lot of games like that I really love the idea of, for sure. Not on, uh, not so much on YouTube itself, but Factorio is one of my most played games on Steam, which is hilarious. I've played so many hours of that game on my own time, just kind of playing around with just different things. I have hundreds of games in my Steam library. Uh, I think I've mentioned it before, but I, I subscribe to the Humble Bundle kind of choose subscription thing where you get to choose, you know, 10 games, 12 games, whatever it is every month. Um, and uh, I've been subscribed to them for many years now. I have so many games in my library. Mm -hmm. All right, we didn't quite make it by, by an hour and a half, but we're at the point now where we're just transporting, so we came close. It wasn't too bad. Did a good little, little uh, cutie, whatever we called you last time. <laughs> little Mandarin orange. Actually, that's just. If I showed my sons these tractors in real, like actually showed them these tractors, this tractor right here would be one of my son's favorite because he loves orange. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I think you're right. Like figuring out the formulas and like the, the right ratios of how much input to have this output based on the speed that each thing's going at. Yeah, I mean, it's all of what obviously what Factorial does. And I think the, uh, the idea of doing that satisfactory would be good, too. And I'm assuming it's got like uh, logic kind of gates and things of that nature where you can automate stuff with logic gates like Factorial does. That fits into the programming side of my brain. I'll definitely try it out. I'll have to look at it, for sure. You parked here for now. Get back over to you. I was gonna say you're about time for you to be doing something stupid, which you did. I mean, unfortunately, my sons are not very good drivers. Uh, they are having to wear tin cans on their feet to be able to reach the pedals, so I guess there's that. Maybe I shouldn't let them get on the highway. I mean, being on the field is probably one thing, but 
actually getting on the highway and driving is probably not the best idea. Nice. Oh, I could probably can I stop and loading. Yeah, it's all right. We'll just finish this one. I could have stopped it probably, but not that big of a deal to get a little bit extra money right now. Uh, and with the rest of them, I think we'll just take to our farm and save for a uh, better day, maybe? Let me see. Um, yeah, max month will be January. We'd get 29,000 bucks if we waited. Whereas right now, if we sell them, we're going to get... I mean, it's not bad. 172 bucks per is not that bad, but definitely think it's worth waiting. You still have to put chains in a backpack in order to mow. Like in real life? I'm trying to think, uh, like, cause you, did you have like a push mower or something like, no, push mower wouldn't work. Chains in a backpack, what would that? I'm not sure if I, if I figure out what you're, what you're, what you're actually having to do. Unless you just had changes in your backpack because you wanted more exercise. I guess that's always a possibility. Oh, to deactivate the safety. Oh, okay, okay. I did not... Is that, a, uh, is that like a riding lawnmower thing? I don't have a riding lawnmower. Um, I've never had a yard big enough for one. I just always had push mowers. But I guess they wouldn't want kids getting on a mower. And therefore they would make us weight safety so that people would have to be big enough. In th you know, I, I, I guess I could see what that would, what usage that would have. I just didn't know that that was a thing. Actually, that's not entirely true what I said about not having a yard big enough for a riding lawnmower. We used to, when I was younger, my, my family lived on a big old piece of land, but my parents just decided that it was just going to be good exercise for me to get out there and push mow, you know, the very large piece of land. <laughs> so it took me a few days, but eventually I would get through it all. And I guess it was good for me to get out there in the hot south texas sun and <laughs> get some exercise Could go drop these off at the biogas just so they're ready to distribute.
I mean, it's no guarantee that the Bogast will be the best place to sell come January, but it's going to be close. I mean, it, it, it or the Animal Dealer, they're both going to be pretty close on price. So I think I will just drop these off there. On my way by to that last field. Oh, if someone falls off the mower, that, that makes even more sense. And I get that. Again, my brain was not thinking riding lawnmower, how dangerous that would be to fall off of. And again, because part of that is because I'm used to, again, the push mower where you're holding on to the, you know, the, the I don't know, it's the gas or the safety or whatever you want to call it. So if you, if you were to get disconnected from the push mower, it would shut off as well. And that, and that I'm used to. I just didn't think about the fact that a riding lawnmower could be more automated and like be cruising along and you fall off and then bye bye whatever piece of your body that slipped under that makes a lot of sense now though it's good to know that mowers have a lot of safety features because they're probably one of the scariest things out there <laughs> they're very scary if you think about them whirling blades of death I'm just going to drop these over here and more than likely we'll be able to distribute them later. I say that mowers are one of the scariest things. That's not counting like farm equipment. Obviously farm equipment is ridiculously scary as well. Combines and threshers and <laughs> blades all over the place. Yeah, there, there, there's some scary stuff when you're dealing with cutting up grass and crop and stuff. All right, thanks, Stephen. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, like I said, if you missed it earlier, I don't know if you joined. I will be streaming an hour earlier next week. So hopefully you can stick around for almost the entire stream, actually, because it would be from 7 to 10 Mountain Time. So basically shift everything, start and end, an hour earlier. Hopefully that'll make, make it easier for people to join and watch for longer. All right, that is that. Not much off this field, but it's still going to count. Good money this dropped off turn these contracts in and we're back to our own farm but with a little bit of extra money in the bank i mean the big thing is that we got to get to the point where we can get ourselves a a harvester that's gonna be one of the big pieces of equipment we're gonna need that's the most expensive probably and it doesn't have to be a massive harvester but just something big enough to uh not take forever when we do stuff
All right, that is all we needed. Um, so we can turn those contracts in. Got another bailing here, but that's still the Teddy one. Yep. Collect and collect. Got some cultivating contracts. I mean, there's obviously other contracts that could be reasonably good, but I think we're just going to, from a time investment standpoint, focus on the bailing contracts when those pop up. All right, anything we got to do on our farm today? I don't think so, because we're already basically at... Grass is growing. I don't think it'll grow in time for the winter, so I think we'll just be fast forwarding until January to sell our bales. We will need to get us a trailer, but thankfully we have enough money for that now, I believe, right? Probably we get the same trailer. Oh, almost. We don't quite have enough money for it. Um, unless we go with something like that, which with the auto loader, that would actually work. We, I mean, we might do something like that then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, Soonish. Could also go with just a smaller uh, trailer, but I think we can handle the big ones. Let's. Is that it? Are we fast forwarding? I think so. I don't think there's anything else for us to look at or do. Our farm is in a good place. So let's get us to. Uh, wrong button. Uh, get us to. Uh, November. And really just focusing on January so we get some more money. We'll check to see if we have any contracts in uh, November. Um, it'd have to be a pretty good contract for us to justify going for that instead of just pushing through with our fields. And now we're at stage two. Needs... Why does it say needs... Oh, it needs... It needs a uh, other type of rowing. I mean, I guess we could get the fertilizer. Hey, there's a weeder. Or not weeder, windrower. Yeah, why did I say weeder? <gasps> windrower. Um, don't think we really want that one anyway. I don't. Oh, it's fine. I've used it before, but it's not like my favorite. Uh, that's right. We're gonna check contracts. Bunch of harvesting contracts. Bunch of plowing contracts. Goodness. Don't get me wrong. There's some good money there, but those take so long. And then there's a few bailing. Tatter, tatter, tatter. Yeah, the hay. We just don't get as much money from the leftover bales for the, the tatting. So I don't usually do those. No, I think we just fast forward until January at this point. I don't think we don't have any debt. So there's really no no penalty, no no issue with that. Uh, what I might do. Okay, we need the trailer. We also would like to get a uh, fertilizer. We may have to wait till we sell our bales and those other bales before we can get the fertilizer and stuff. Because we have to have the trailer to get the bales to market. But we don't have to have the fertilizer just yet. Sorry, my brain was like thinking two different things. I mean, we obviously need, still need this one as well. So we can do lime. Because I don't think any of these other ones still do lime. Those are the only two that do lime. And then we need a sprayer. I usually go sprayer. Just because it's so much wider. But I suppose we could just double dip with this one. And have just empty it out and have it do both. That would be acceptable. All right. So I think we're going to fast forward again. Uh, let's go check out our silage real quick. So one month in, we're at 32%. So it is three months to get to 100%. That makes sense. Which is good, because it'll be fermented by January. Yep, 65. Now the grass is... Yeah, two or three. So it is winter, so it is no longer growing. Um, I wouldn't expect any contracts for anything that we would be worth doing right now. So sure. we will check the used equipment and fast forward again, I guess. Oh, that's a nice tractor. That's actually a really nice tractor. 210 horsepower is... And it can go up to 271. It's half price right now. Oof. That is tempting. We don't have the money for it right now, but that's so tempting. Um, Cause our current tractor is what? One something? 140? 140, yep. Hmm. I mean, if we had the money, I would. We just don't have the money. I mean, we could go sell a bunch of our bales. 
Make 30,000 bucks off of those right now. Where do we have grass at? Just, just confused right now? Or is it still counting this as grass? Oh, it's still counting that as grass. Okay. So we do, we do have, we do have some, okay, that's fair. Fair enough. All right. We're just gonna have to fast forward and hope that, I mean, if the tractor's still there, when we sell all this, we might, we might be tempted, but more than likely we would just won't have the money for it. There'll be more tractors. It'll be okay. There we go, January, and this is now officially... Oh, it's not. We'll have to fast forward, I think, partway through the day, and it'll turn into silage. Um, no, so the tractor is gone, unfortunately. I'm assuming contract stuff, nothing really worth doing right now. Not really. I mean, the cultivating jobs could be useful if you had a big enough cultivator. Still no growth here. Uh, so let's just fast forward partway through the day, because uh, I think these will fully ferment here in just a moment. Yep, okay, so we're at silage now. Uh, all of them? All of them, good. So, what is the best place to sell them right now? Biogas plant gets about $40,000 if we were at max price, which we are probably not. Oh, no, biogas is at just above max. Okay, this is perfect time. Then let's go grab us a trailer. We're just going to grab this trailer here. Yeah. Um, I would just grab this one. 19,000 bucks. I mean, we could go with one of these smaller ones. It would be fine as well. But I think our tractor can pull this one. Actually, it might not be bad to go with one of these because eventually we could turn these into a uh, something for our grain as well. That actually might be better. I don't know how many bales we can put on this one. We don't need to be super large. You know, I think this might actually be better because again, it has more flexibility for down the road. All right, let's go for it. It's still pretty cheap and we'll go for that. You have a Gleaner Combine on FS22 on PC, 16x map. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to my driving. 16x map, so I'm assuming that map's pretty big. I haven't even checked that one out. I have to look at it sometime. You had 129 subs, congrats. I remember my first 100. It uh, took a while for me to get 100. And now I'm sitting at just shy of 12,000, which is awesome. I suspect we won't be able to fit a ton of bales on this thing, but probably have to make two trips. Saves us about 10,000 bucks though, off that other bigger trailer. And eventually we could buy the bigger stuff if we get around, if we feel like we need to, but I think being smart with our money right now is still, still the right move.
Oh. These are worse. Oh. I assume this trailer was a slightly bigger than... I usually run this trailer. And I feel like that looks smaller dimensionally than... I feel like this one's a little bit longer. But they just put these on here differently. Wow. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to not be sticking with this trailer forever. That's annoying. Hey, Split Cookie. Uh, it's going pretty good. Um, other than the fact that I just bought a trailer that is making me sad. Uh, oh, yeah. You've been watching some of the some of those series uh, leading up to this. I appreciate that. That's good. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, having lots of fun with this uh, revisit of the Elm Creek series. Oh, I really don't want to have to... I mean, we're not going to get all of our money back from selling this thing right now. Why did I forget I had a Stroutman? I already have a Stroutman. Why do I have a Stroutman? What have I transported? I don't remember buying that. I genuinely don't remember buying that. I mean, that's fine. We can use this one for grain later down the road and use our Stroutman for uh, for the bales because it will hold more bales. I don't remember buying that, I'll be honest. I guess that's the problem with doing two different series at the same time. I forget what I bought in one and versus the other one. And apparently I bought that one in both. I genuinely don't remember buying that. Are you able to attach a baler behind a front mower? Uh, I think technically, yes. However, I don't know for sure that that's faster. Um, I'm trying to think. You would, you would have less grass going into the baler at a time because you would, uh, you're obviously you're with a mower when wind rowing, all that stuff, you're, you're taking three width basically and putting it down to one. Um, but would the, um, what am I trying to do? Would the overall speed be better? I have to think about that for a minute. It might be better. It only holds two of those. Wow. All right, we're going to go grab our uh, other trailer that apparently I have and I forgot we have. Let me just confirm. We do, in fact, have that. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I don't remember buying that. Honestly, I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think it'd be about the same. Put a, put a mower on the front and a baler on the back. Because let, most mowers are about... Like, if you go with the one that has the front and then the two on the two width on the back, uh, those are going to be... Like, this one right here would be, what, 2.4 meters. You could get one. There's a 3 meter. There's a 3 meter. So if you grab 3 meters and you have 2 meters on the back, basically, your total width with all mowers is triple, Right? So effectively, maybe a little bit more, plus or minus, you know, a, a small cushion there, but basically triple. So for every one pass with the front front mower, it only takes, or sorry, with every one pass with the full mower, the front and back, you'd have to do three passes with a front only mower. Um, so you, you think, think of that. And then let's say you, if you did just front mower into the baler, you could skip the wind rowing, right? That's fine. But you're still having to do three total passes, uh, which you would do the same with, front and back mower, then do a wind rower, and then do a baler. That's still effectively three passes for the same width of your field. And I think it would be faster to do mower, wind rower, baler, because you can mow very, very quickly. You can wind row very, very quickly. The baler is the only thing that would slow you down. So it's probably, 
No, I didn't mean to do this. I meant to uh, unload and grab my other trailer. Like I said, we'll keep this trailer for maybe. We'll just keep it in uh, grain mode and figure that out later. I'm gonna park it over here. I don't. I still don't remember getting that bail. Maybe it was used. Maybe that's why I got it. Because I don't think I would have bought it just randomly. Because I don't think we needed it yet. But I might have bought it used. forgotten that I did that. Yeah, I mean, that, that one right there is... Is it narrower? Is that what it is? Maybe it's a little narrower. Maybe it's about the same length and just a tiny bit narrower. I, honestly, I think they're almost the exact same. I think these are almost identical, and yet somehow this one just stacks better. I'd say it was a weight thing, but usually the ones that have wheels on the front and back can carry more actual weight than the ones that are, you know, putting weight on your actual uh, hitch there. Usually these can hold less. That's all right. Two more loads and we'll be done. No harm, no foul. Tractor so slow. <gasps> it's a pretty nice planter. I don't know that we're gonna be doing anything that needs a planter anytime soon, though. Cedar, yes. Planter, planter, not so much. How much wood we get back for selling that trailer? That's what I was gonna look at earlier before I got distracted. Oh, we'd only lose like a thousand bucks right now. It might be worth just going in and selling that real quick. Get our, get as much money back before we put some hours on it. Cut our losses and be like, all right, whatever, no no harm, no foul, no big deal. It unloads on the wrong side. <laughs> it unloads on the other side, which I could shift that. Uh, it is uh, you. There we go. Excuse me. Decided to go bowling, apparently. This goes relatively quickly. <laughs> We're making 4,000 bucks a pop.
All right, done on this. We gotta get one more load from our farm and not bad. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, grab this thing and bring it back. Um, I'm just gonna speed things up a little bit and just reset it. That way you don't have to drive all the way there, drive all the way back, make things go slower. We can bring the seed over to our farm. <laughs> we already lost $180 worth of paint. <laughs> wow. But we got almost all of our money back for it, so... It's fine. We have to set it to be able to do partials. Um, oh, any. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, once we get this last bit dropped off, then we're, I guess, fast forwarding again to get to the point where we can actually. Um, Harvest this grass. Although we could also go ahead and grab the, the lime and all that stuff to kind of get that that yield up a bit. Plus that would help with our... Uh, do you get precision farming stuff for grass? I can't remember, actually. Don't remember. I'll look in a minute. Drop the seat off back behind the barn over here. Probably forget it's there. I mean, I forgot the trailer was there. Um, why wouldn't I forget the seeds there? Check something real quick. Um, how we see the values again? Oh, I think we do. We have to purchase soil information. I can't remember. How we could used to be able to see the stuff here? I guess it's just yeah. I guess it's not been analyzed. So I guess we don't get to see everything. Maybe I don't know. It's weird. Um, because I forget what what the order is here of all the different. Bits and bobs. Uh, how much is the soil analysis? I mean, if it if it gets us to the point where we can actually get information here, then it might be worth it. Because uh, what I want to do, I wanted to. It's still not. Why is it not showing us the values? I know it used to. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I just wasn't hovering over the right thing. 
Uh, so yeah, we need nitrogen. We're actually good on the pH, which that's not going to matter. Weed control, really? For, for grass? I don't know if that matters. And then tillage. What does tillage do? I can't remember what tillage does. But we're up to 65 now, which gives us a little tiny boost. So, I don't know. It makes a little bit of a difference, I guess. I don't know if it makes a difference for the silage, though. We'll find out here in a minute. But once we start doing other things, it will make a decent difference. I mean, these things don't need plowed, so what is the tillage? Maybe just the... No, it wouldn't be the rolling, because I've done... I've gone with that rolling before and not had any problems. I don't remember what the tillage is. It may not apply to grass. This dropped off. About another 4,000 bucks, if I think correctly. Why is it not? Why don't I have the unload button? <laughs> what did I do wrong? What did I break? Uh, okay. Oh, you know, sometimes this happens, if, if I remember right. We have to, like, unhook and hook back up or something. It, like, sometimes it gets weird, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's like... There we go. Yeah. Oh. oh somehow that counted. Okay. 4,000 bucks. Okay, so we did get the environmental score reward for that. So, that's good. So, maybe I should have done that sooner to get that little extra boost, but that's okay. I hadn't thought about the fact that that was a thing for grass. But, yeah, we'll definitely work on getting our score up. Uh, and again, part of that is the pH and things like that. Yeah, I thought tillage was plowing, but we've already plowed, so a little confused. Maybe, oh, you know what it might be? Sometimes it doesn't update those numbers until you actually harvest. So it might not be counting until we've done a harvest of grass, or maybe because grass never actually gets officially harvested in the context of what this needs to be doing it might not um it might not count at all that we've already done the plowing all right you know what i think i'm gonna leave the trailer here for a moment and we're gonna grab the lime just get the lime down that'll help with things actually no sorry the lime is fine we don't need the lime it's not the lime that we need because the, the ph is fine it is the, the fertilizing that we need shoo what is the cheapest fertilizer setup we can go with? 34K probably? 26K? How's that compared to the spreader? Um, Again, we're going to need this eventually for lime anyway. So maybe we just go ahead and grab it. It's just so much more expensive. But like I said, if we're going to need it for both, it'll do double duty. I don't know. I, honestly, I'd rather just get this one. We need the lime and just have this just have lime and not even worry about it. Uh, as far as the difference between a sprayer and a... The reason I like the sprayer is because I can see exactly where the stuff's going. When you have the the spreaders, it's hard to see exactly what you're doing. So I think we'll just grab one of these and be happy with it. I don't think it really matters. Grab this one. That's uh, 18 to 28 meters. This one is... 
just 24 meters. I mean, the 18 meters is going to be fine for our tiny little thing. Uh, we don't need weed spot spraying, and I'm not going to pay 40,000 bucks for that right now. Down the road, we might eventually upgrade this, but we don't need it right now. Okay, go with that, and then we will need to get some uh, liquid herbicides. Don't think it matters one way or the other. And we'll go get our... Not herbicide. Oh my goodness. I'm a dummy. I was sitting there talking about weeds and I had weeds in my brain. Uh, I mean, we'll use the fertile herbicide eventually. It's just sad. It's not like it's, it hurts nothing sitting there other than the fact that we didn't need to spin it right now. Oh my goodness. It's all right. Literally talking about weeds and my brain went to weeds. I got weeds in my brain. Thankfully, it's not wasted. It's just unnecessary. Hopefully, our weight on the front's big enough for this. I think it will be. Watch as we start tipping back here in a moment. No. Looks like we're good. I mean, this little tractor is getting the job done. It is very slow. 41 miles an hour is not very fast. Compared to some of the ones that can do 31 miles an hour. Not quite wide, wide enough to do this in two passes, unfortunately. I guess I should have confirmed that we are, in fact, getting increased yield. <laughs> we'll look in a second. All right, let's check this real quick. Yeah, we're up to 97%. That's huge. Big difference. I mean, I'm still okay that we did the first set without the increased yield just to make sure we had the money coming in. But no, this is this is fine. Good to have a little extra. Well worth the uh, price here. Just gonna skip that little bit right there and then we'll come over here. We can just shrink this down to just the middle and get this little tiny path.
almost not worth the time investment to do this little strip. <laughs> we might as well. Oh, I can make that corner. Basically, get about 50% more yield than we did last time. Last time we got two loads of six each and then one load of three. We had nine bales, I believe it was. Something like that. Um, which means we got... Each load of six was about 4,000 bucks. So it was about $10,000. So we'll get another 5,000 bucks just from doing this. It's not bad. I mean, the, the fertilizer itself was obviously very cheap. We're not using hardly any. And then, of course, we'll have to do a couple cycles, but to pay for the, the sprayer, but it'll, it'll very, very quickly become worth itself or worth more, I should say. We'll need to do, yeah, that right there. All that's done. Good stuff. And we have more equipment that is ours. All right. I think next up is just to fast forward and get this grass to finally grow again how are we looking on the precision stuff now I don't think it updates the fertilizer until we actually mow like I said um, and what was the other things we're missing weed control I mean do we just spray weeds anyway even though there's not really weeds on grass don't we see oh I'm looking at the wrong thing I was like don't I normally see weeds yeah, because there's not there's not weeds on grass, right? Yeah, there's just not. Maybe you still pat do a pass on it and it still would count. I honestly just don't know. Oh, we actually have bad pH in a couple spots over here. So we will need the lime soon-ish, but we could probably do one more harvest for sure and figure out the lime later. All right, let's uh let's fast forward and get a new month. Let me check the user equipment before I forget one more time. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Great demand at the animal dealer. There's a nice little tractor. 190 horsepower. It's more than what we got right now. Tempting. I mean, it's still extremely slow. But 50 more horsepower, you know, can't go wrong with that. There's an electric tractor. This one's gas. Hey, there's that little thing we got. <laughs> oh, well. What is that? Is that a wind rower? Yeah. That's a ginormous one. <laughs> I mean, not like super, super wide, but it, like bulky in, in other ways, I guess. Um... Tempting. How much is our tractor worth right now? Probably only 20,000. Yeah, 20,000 bucks. So it costs an extra 20,000 bucks to get an extra 50 horsepower. Otherwise, it's really still just not a great tractor in general. This is just another old tractor. I mean, it could be use useful for like a second tractor at some point, but I don't know that we're in the place right now where we want second tractors. All right, so we are. Oh, no, we got to go one more month. Okay, I thought we were good to go. We need one more month. We look at... Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, in that case, there's nothing else for us to do. And like I said, I don't know if the rolling actually speeds up enough. I'm trying to think if it would have... 
I just don't know. I don't know if it's... We could, I guess we could have rolled one field and not the other. And to see what kind of it looked like. All right, now we should be good. Now we're ready to harvest. Good stuff. Oh, this tractor's super dirty. Oh, I was about to start raining. Um, I don't remember. I guess they will tell us, wouldn't it? I don't remember if... I don't think it's affected by the rain, but honestly, it wouldn't hurt to fast forward. Just to make sure we're not, like, about to hurt, hurt ourselves. Hello. Square baler. I like the idea of square balers because they, they're continuous, right? Um, Which is always nice. Uh, but we'd have to have a separate baler uh, attachment. Not baler, sorry, wrapper attachment. Which we could. And we could grab something like that right there. Would do square bells. Or this one on the end. I mean, it's more expensive than what we got right now, though. Right? How much is one we have right now worth? <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, it's just more expensive. It's nice, the idea of it. But value is not... Okay, let's fast forward just to get past the rain, just to make sure. Don't think it's affected by... The grass is affected by rain. But better safe than sorry. When's the rain supposed to end? 11 o'clock. There we go. Should go pretty quick here. No, I haven't been checking. I haven't been checking contracts. I mean, it wasn't worth checking before because we weren't at the grass uh, point yet. But yeah, nothing I see yet. Yeah, I'll be doing grass for a few cycles just to get a little bit extra money. We're going to try to do this uh, run debt-free. And the best way to do that is just grass. It's it's boring, but it's it's debt-free. So as soon as we can get the right equipment, like right now, we've got all the grass equipment we need. So from this point forward, we can start buying the equipment that will help actual crops. And once that happens, if we're still debt-free, we're, st we're going to start making money, right? Because that's the biggest reason with, that we weren't making money on the first Elm Creek run, or not much money at least was because I was 
you know, pretty far into debt. So if we can go into, you know, flour and stuff like that with with no debt, we should be able to make reasonable money. It's still, it'll be less than grass, but at least it'll feel like something a little bit more useful overall. Grass, like I said, it's just, I'm okay with doing it for a few cycles, but it's, it gets boring pretty quickly. At least to me. We got a real cedar. What's that look like? Actually, for a second, let me get my son to take over here for a moment. Um, a real cedar is like, we probably go with, we don't need anything big. Um, I usually like, um, which one was it? I mean, this one's pretty cheap and easy. Some of these that attach to the back are pretty easy. I think I usually like this one, but it's probably bigger than we need for this field, right? But really what I'm looking for is the horsepower. So yeah. Our current tractor could pull several of these, even these early ones. Yeah, so we could we could run our current tractor with any of these um, and be fine with that. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. I think I think you're right about bottlenecking the the flower too much. There's 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 other ways to make sure that we're producing a. Uh, exactly what we need maybe not too much you know things of that nature yeah we'll get the cedar probably first because I mean obviously that's the first step of anything that we're going to be doing and then um we'll need a cultivator at some point some sort of cultivator vari variant um and then eventually a harvester. I mean, that's basically it. We've already got the fertilizer and the weeder. I mean, we still need the lime, but we're going to get that for the grass here soon enough anyway. Yeah, I mean, really, once we can get the harvester, which again, will be like the, the last piece of equipment we buy, then we can start switching over to more actual crops. Although it might be worth continuing the grass for a little bit longer until we can get one of the production facilities as well, just to make sure we're getting the most we can from the crops. What I may do is that little tiny field off to the side of the barn, I or over there by the, the shop, I guess, whatever. I may just leave that one as grass permanently. It'll give us a little tiny bit of money, trickle of money for minimal effort. I could also just leave this as grass too. Just keep these two fields as grass. And then once I can buy one of the bigger fields south of us, that'll be my crop field or something like that. That might be a better option. It does mean grass for a long, lot longer, right? But maybe that's not that bad. Probably need to go rewatch my own Elm Creek run because it's like I said for you guys it might have been fresh you might have just watched it for me it was a uh, two years ago now so 
I need to go remember what all I did in that one. Um, are we at the point now where, yeah, we are. I'm not going to, we're not going to win row yet. We're going to, we're going to do two cycles uh, because we're going to be selling the stuff in January anyway to get the most money. There is no value in me. Um, that contract's almost worth doing. There's no value in me um, wind rowing and failing yet. We'll get another set. That way I can just do uh, one, one passive wind rowing, one passive of bailing basically. So I think that's good for now. We just need the roller. Oh, I forgot to roll this other side. Ha <laughs> ha. Sell the buildings for cat. Yeah, we'll we'll sell the buildings at some point. Uh, they're not super valuable. I don't, if I remember correctly, we can we can check here in a second. Mostly, I don't want to sell the barn over there because I don't want to have to deal with the giant hole in the ground right now. <laughs> but uh, we could probably sell the other buildings. Should be getting credit for the fertilizer at least now on our precision farming.
All right, not too bad. Now we can put away the mower. Let me just start this automator for a moment because I want to check something while he's running. All right, let me check something real quick. Uh, how much is the buildings to sell? Because I'm curious now. Not that one. Like I said, I don't really want to do that one. 24,000 bucks. That one's nothing. I guess just decoration. And that was 48,000 bucks. If it didn't have the giant hole here, I would totally sell this one right now, but I really don't want to deal with that hole. It's annoying to me. Um, I don't know. They're not worth that much. Might sell this. I mean, there's no point in selling that one. Obviously, it's worth nothing, but they're not bothering me right now. If we desperately need 60,000 bucks later, 70,000 bucks, we will, we will look at selling them for sure at that point. All right. Um... Let me finish, let you finish this pass and then I'll take back over. Actually, no, let me let you do that for a bit. Let me just talk through some stuff real quick. We're getting close to the end of the stream anyway, so I can, I can take this moment to talk through some of the plans. Um, obviously we want a harvester. Um, probably relatively small harvester, honestly, like this Rostal Mash or something like that. We don't need anything crazy to begin with. It'll get the job done. I think I've used this class one before on that. Um, this might have been the one I used on the other save, if I remember correctly. Uh, Rustle Mesh holds 4,900. This one holds 7,500. So this one's just better. And then it's a big jump up to the next harvester after that. I mean, that one's slightly better, but not by much. Um, these are all just really small. But I mean, we just, we need to start with something basic to begin with. Um, so and then like I said, we need the cedar. So that's okay. Let's, let's call it, let's call it, let's just say we go with one of the cheaper ones. Um, let's say we go with, I mean, I'm using this on the other save, so I'm not going to use that one again. I think we used this one the first time for the first Elm Creek. So I think we'll just grab this roster mash, just something a little bit different. It's not necessarily better. It's not worse. It just is. Um, so we might grab this one and 75,000 bucks plus 25,000. So we're talking 100,000 bucks for the harvester. And then we would need, like I said, we need, at some point we need some sort of cultivator for after crops. Again, it doesn't have to be super big. I like the bigger ones. Don't get me wrong. But that one's interesting. Six meters. That actually might be, I mean, it's bigger than what our tractor can currently handle. But let's say 20,000 bucks. We're at 120,000 bucks. We need a cedar. Any of these would be fine. Let's say, let's say we go with one that's like 50,000 bucks or whatever. So 170,000 bucks that gets us the cedar, the cultivator and the, the harvester. We've already got a trailer that we can convert back and forth. I mean, that's basically it. We've already got the herbicide. Yeah. Well that, that's, that's basically all we need. I mean, really 170,000 bucks is not, and possibly far away. Especially if we got another good giant size contract. But uh, how much have we actually made so far? Uh, we're just going to go too far back for us to see. Yeah, like right there, we made $40,000 selling bales. And then we turned around and bought a vehicle. So yeah, we're. it's not impossible for us to get to that at some point. Oh, thank you, double A truckling. Double... I guess it says double double a trucking no i'm just kidding uh thank you for uh for supporting and uh, joining and glad you could can can uh, watch for a little bit although i only have about 12 minutes left of the stream today but if you do miss any of this you can watch the vod 
I think it goes live literally the moment I hit the stop recording button. It's ready to watch right away, which is nice. Um, so like I said, 170,000 bucks for all that. If I did decide to go ahead and get some more land, which the most likely, the first land we get would just be this one right here, probably. Eventually we'd grow it out to three. We're going to kind of follow the same path we did last time, but this land is only 64,000 bucks. That's not bad. And yeah, that's not bad at all. What's the acreage on these, I think? It tells us here. So these are all combined about not even quite one acre, right? 0.75 acres. Whereas the one I was just looking at is 47. I think this acreage is correct. It's actually about the same size. That one field is about the same size as all three of these combined. These are a little tiny bit bigger, but not by much. Um, so let's call it that would be up to 200,000 bucks, right? Right at 200,000 bucks to get this one thrown into the mix. And at first we could just do crops, but obviously at some point we would want to do the, um, some sort of, uh, production, right? So that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do, keep the wrong buttons. Construction, there we go. Some, some point we want to do some sort of construction and probably we probably would start with the uh i mean the, the the flour mill just makes the most sense to start with did i miss it i probably already missed it i'm blind i know i know what it looks like grain mill i, I was looking for flour it's called a grain mill and that's a hundred thousand bucks as well so we're talking three hundred thousand dollars to get fully set up for flour a lot of grass. Will I cover Alaska Truck Simulator? I've never actually covered any of the truck simulators, to be perfectly honest, but it would be interesting to try them out at some point. I technically own American Truck Simulator, but I don't... Uh, I've never I've never played it on YouTube, for sure. I've played a little bit on my own. I don't know. I have to think about that. Might be an interesting one to throw into the mix. That's kind of a hard view. That that <laughs> that exhaust pipe is kind of in the way of my line. I'd like to get a second tractor at some point just because it just helps speed things up a bit. But again, not a not a huge priority. I did look already, didn't I? I did. There's a spader there. Not really what I'm looking for, though. It's very small. I mean, small stuff's fine, but I'd like to get a little bit bigger than that, probably. Is Alaska Truck Simulator going to have, like, ice road trucking type stuff? Where you're like, <laughs> you got to be, like, careful <laughs> and things. I mean, it makes sense. But, uh, hadn't thought about it.
Guess I could try out my steering wheel if I went that route. Cause I do have one sitting behind me right now. Problem with me doing a trucking simulator is that you guys will get to continue to see how bad I am at backing up trailers. <laughs> it would not get any better. Although I guess the more I do it, the more practice I have. I actually wanted to try out the uh, uh, Mud Runner and, and Snow Runner games. Watched a few YouTube videos of people playing them, but I just never never actually got around to trying them myself. Oh, wow. You were, uh, two years. Nice. Well, good night, and thanks for joining for a bit. And like I said, you can watch the VOD, uh, I guess, whenever you're able to get back on. I think we'll have just enough time to finish up this field of rolling. I'm going to intentionally not roll the other one. I just want to prove to myself one more time the point of what difference rolling actually makes. And it may not make any difference. I, I think it does, but I'm suddenly forgetting and doubting myself. So we're going to prove it because that field over there is not that big. So if we don't roll it and it does in fact affect the, the yield, it's not the end of the world. I actually put the thing down before I start driving. There we go. Glad the rolling actually shows up and makes it easy for you to see because uh, if it didn't that would be this would be painful. We got two more passes three more passes. I think two because that outer edge is not the actual field.
Here, here, son, take over for a minute. Let me check something real quick. I wanted to check to see if we did get credit for this after all. Yep, we're up to 76 on the environmental score, which we're just missing. I mean, I don't know why the nitrogen didn't cap out because we put nitrogen on everywhere. Um, pH, I get that that's a little bit low. That makes sense because we need to fill that up at some point. It's really just the weed control and the tillage, and I don't know if we can get credit for that or not. I mean, I guess I could run the, the sprayer, the, the herbicide sprayer over the grass just to see if it makes a difference, but it feels like it would be weird if it did. All right, we'll get this finished up and then we will call the stream there. Guess I'll do this tiny little strip here on the edge. Almost timed that perfectly. Not too bad. We already checked contracts for everything we did, didn't we? Yeah, there's no no bailing contracts right now. Uh, so yeah, when we come back, I guess next next Wednesday we'll uh, we'll jump right into I guess being ready to fast forward so that we can do another round of mowing. I think two rounds of mowing will be plenty, and we'll do the windrowing. Technically, I could do three, but let me see. We're on. Where are we at in the calendar? We're in March, June. So we might be able to do three. Yeah, we might do three. That way, we only have to bail one time. Have the bells ready to go for January, and I think that actually might work out. Technically, three is a little bit, a little bit high, but I think it'll still work. Oh, thanks, Dion. Uh, Dion, um, really appreciate all the support and uh, glad to be here. I'm, I'm happy that I'm streaming. It's it's actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be at first um and hopefully i can keep doing it but uh there we go that is that um pretty good day got some more equipment a couple more pieces of equipment and now our grass fields are actually going to be more more you know fertilized so they're going to be more profitable for us uh, i don't think we're in possibly far uh distance away from really setting up more of the farm but we don't have to rush this i mean i think we can take a little bit of time and kind of get through this at a good good clip and go from there but uh that is it. I do appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you missed any of it, you can definitely catch it on the VOD on YouTube right away. If you aren't already following me on Twitch and you feel like giving me a little bit of a follow, even if you don't watch on Twitch, uh, I would appreciate it because I do need to get to 50 followers for, I guess, ultimately becoming an affiliate and all that kind of fun jazz. Um, means to an end, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but uh, what else is going on? Uh, like I said, next week, uh, and again, starting Saturday for Civilization, this stream will be starting at 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, 8 o'clock Central. Uh, so it'll be an hour earlier. Uh, and I will end an hour earlier just to kind of make it a little bit more convenient for people, I think. Other than that, more farming simulator content coming out uh, from the recording from the Bally Spring on Friday. Yeah, Friday. I was going to say, there's some, it came out today, and so it'll be more on Friday. I've been having a lot of fun with the Bally Spring as well. I actually recorded a lot of episodes. I'll be honest with you. I think I recorded like nine episodes <laughs> over the weekend. So I have like three weeks worth of episodes already ready to go for Valley Spring because I was having a lot of fun with it. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, may God bless you. And I really do hope you guys join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I can stop the stream.